Yes, good morning. Today we want to talk about, we are discussing civil engineering construction, of which we are talking about waterfront structures. And we say, waterfront structures are structures which are constructed to facilitate the following functions. So these are the functions why we construct the waterfront structures. So the first function is to enable the fueling of ships to storing of goods at the sea. Then we have supply of utilities to home-based vessels. Another one for bathing, landing, docking of ships. So those are the functions which uh, why we, the waterfront structures are constructed. Then we have conducting military marine operations at the sea. Then again we have protecting the shoreline. So those are the reasons why we construct waterfront structures. So these structures are constructed along the sea line to enable the functions as discussed. Again, we talk about classifications of waterfront structures. We have said waterfront structures are broadly classified into three categories. We have urban sheltered waterfront structure, then we have stable shoreline waterfront structures, then we have wharfage waterfront structures. Then we said harbors, sheltered waterfront structures are structures which are constructed to create sheltered harbor at the sea, to create a sheltered harbor at the sea. Again, we talk about uh, types of harbor sheltered waterfront structures and say we have the three, we have the breakwater, we have algae and we have rubber mold or rock mold as a type of Hubbard sheltered waterfront structures. Then we talk again about stable shoreline waterfront structures. And we said these are structures that are constructed at the sea at the shoreline to protect it from erosions and wave damage. So it means we have to make them somehow strong so that they can prevent the erosions of the sea or erosion of the shoreline. Again, we talk about the wharfage waterfront structures and we say these are structures which are majorly constructed to allow ships to lie along the sea for loading and loading and docking. So it has three functions why we construct wharfage waterfront structures. One, it has it enables the ship the, the ship to uh, to lie there for loading and loading and docking. Then again, talk about types of waterfront structures. And we have very many types of waterfront structures depending on the functions we want to construct these waterfront structures. One, we have the seawall or solid or open. Then we have the dock or the wet dock waterfront structure. Then we have the jetties waterfront structures. We have the dolphin waterfront structures. Then we have the breakwater, the breakwater waterfront structures. Then we have the diaphragm wall waterfront structures. Again, we have the revetments waterfront structures. We have pitching waterfront structures, and we have tuffing waterfront structures. So we only started by uh, uh, by the breakwater waterfront structures, and where we say. These are structures that are constructed at the sea and located at the sea to protect the river water and the sea. To protect the river water against the effect of heavy sea or the, wave, the, the, the heavy waves. And also to ensure smooth operations along uh, smooth operations of the sea of the ships along the along the shoreline. So the operations that can be done when we have constructed this breakwater, it should enable smooth landing of the ship, smooth uh, offloading of the ship, smooth unloading of, smooth loading of the ship and any other. So in our next class, we will now start talking about the seawater and any other. And we can start the seawater, water the wet docks, and any other. Thank you for listening to class. Welcome.